I'm a small housing developer, and my idea, and I'm pitching to the mayor, is sort of grown out of my experience. I think we all know that we've got an enormous housing problem, and lots of brilliant people have been thinking, you know, what is the solution? And, you know, I don't have that solution. I don't have that big idea that is the solution. And maybe that is the answer, that there isn't one big solution, but there are lots of solutions. We've got maybe 10 or 12 um, here this evening. Um, and the sort of scale that I am familiar with and is based on my experience is sort of, you know, 1 to 50 units. So I hope you all sort of bear with me as I sort of gives you my suggestion for what that um, solution could be. Um, if you know um, the brilliant book by Summerson about Georgian London, uh, you will have read how the London of the 18th century and, and to a large degree of the 19th century was built from the sort of greed and ingenuity of Londoners expanding the city and meeting the demand of all the citizens of London. And I think that's the sort of the clue that I want to share with the mayor about how we can provide for the million more people over the next eight or ten years. And it's not a big plan, but it's the idea that all of us have got ideas about how we can meet our housing need. And it needs to be lots of people with lots of different ingenious suggestions. And that's, that's the way forward. Um, so in a way, it's a sort of it's an appeal to the ingenuity and greed of us all. Um, and that's what created the city that we love today. I know that's not entirely fashionable amongst people who want to have a plan, but I think it has produced a great city and one we really value. So if we look at what happened in the 20th century, my take on that is that we've created these untouchable areas of the city when big parts of the city were taken over by basically local councils and big estates were built. And from the point of view of the sort of ingenuity and greed, um, those were areas of the city that could no longer be touched because they were owned by these big institutions which really controlled the future of those places. And they weren't open to the sort of daily grind and excitement and vision of small people saying, what can we do here, which is what shaped the rest of the city. So. My suggestion really is, let's take away that barrier that's preventing our ingenuity and our appetites from changing those areas. And to do that, what I'm suggesting is that we use a device that we already have, which is the planning system. And I'm sure you all know that one of the rather weird things about the planning system is that you don't have to own the land that you make a planning application for. You can make a planning application to develop Buckingham Palace into affordable housing. But the problem is you can't then do anything with that consent. So my slide said consent and implement. So what, I, what my vision is that anybody can apply to develop that council estate near you, say two houses, you know, in the gap between the tree and the block of flats. And you go through the planning process, you know, it's very rigorous, at least I think it is, and you get consent if it meets all the right uh, things to do with design and sustainability and ecology and so on. You then have the right, unusually, I'm asking the mayor to establish, to build those two houses. And the only thing you have to do, you don't have to have reach an agreement with the landowner or anything, the only thing you have to do is you have to give half of what you build to the owner of the land. So I think, you know, I sort of grew up in Hammersmith and Fulham Borough, and there are estates there that are untouchable. You know, there's a few buildings, few blocks of flats dotted around, a bit of landscaping. It's never really going to change. The council's got far too much on its plate. It's got no resources, as we all know. Um, there is no terrible problem, which means that they've got to regenerate the estate, but there is capacity there for more housing. So what I'm suggesting is allow all of us, unleash our energy, both our creative energy and our greed and our sort of appetite for change and our appetite to enhance the city, to create more housing. It doesn't have to be housing. It could be, as Mark's saying, it could be workshops. Build four workshops, 
to go to the local authority to you keep. So that's, that's uh, the, the summary of my idea. There are, I think, 3.3 million um, units of affordable housing in London in the, private, in the public rented sector. So if out of that, um, sorry, that's the total number in the total number in London, a quarter of that um, is in the affordable rented sector. And 5% of that, so if you imagine every estate uh, for every council would be, had 5% increase because of our initiative, um, would be another 40,000 homes. So this is my sort of um, suggestion for a small sort of focused tool of what the next mayor could do. And I think the, the advantage of it is that it's sort of practical. It doesn't need to change human nature. It doesn't need the mayor to spend any money. It just needs him to make this change, enabling one to consent and implement. Thank you very much. <laughs>